What's up everyone, welcome to Riz Avenue, and today we're gonna be talking about the Oscars because the Oscars, they're bringing in the Avengers this year. And this is a really exciting news when I first heard about it or even read about it online. Um, but when I actually started like looking into things, this is more of like a Disney flexing their guns to Hollywood and kind of just showing their dominance. So let me explain. The Oscars, they need ratings, right? And uh, because of that, they're going to resort to who else but the big mouse, Disney. And uh, what better way to use them but by bringing the Avengers to boost their rating? Because last year they actually dropped in ratings for, I think that was like the biggest drop that they've ever had. So for this year, they're going to be bringing the Avengers to boost their ratings to get friends like me to come and watch. Um, and this is crazy just because they're dominating the this whole Oscar season. Um, you know, if you read down the VFX nomination, you'll see that at least half of this of this list is a Disney property. So let me just read it to you. Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Mary Poppins Returns, Solo, Christopher Robbins, and then you got Jurassic World, Welcome to Marwin, and Ready Player One. Look at that, just six of those titles are Disney properties. That's insane. And what's even weirder is that Aquaman's not even on there. What the shit? If, <laughs> if anyone deserves to be on that VFX nomination list, it's James Wan's uh, Aquaman because of the, sh the hurdle that they had to jump over because of the whole movie is taking place underwater. That within itself should be nominated for a VFX. That's that's insane, and this the fact that Disney is purely taking over the Oscars this year shows that there's some type of connection between be, between the two, and uh, that does rub me the wrong way because I am a fan of all comic book movies, and the fact that the Disney thinks that they could just do this and just you know snub Aquaman from being nominated. You know, it's so petty of them. Might as well just call the Oscars the Mickey Mouse show at this point. It is ridiculous. It's petty. It's so low of them. Like, we understand that you're taking over. Yes, you just bought Fox. You don't have to buy the Oscars as well. And you're pretty much taking over Hollywood in general. And it just it's just a nasty business play. This whole monopoly of Disney throughout throughout Hollywood is just, I'm so, I'm getting tired of it. And so I just want to make a video just quick just a quick little rant and uh, I just want to know what you guys think as well. Let me know in the comments below. Let's have this discussion. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Am I overthinking? Are we, do you guys think there's a link between, you know, the Aquaman snub and Disney pretty much taking over the Oscars? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.